How's everyone doing today? So, it's raining outside, time to make some new videos. And probably this is the video that almost everyone wants me to make. And now I'm going to give a really bad review to, you guessed it, we'll write his name down, this little prick. Alright, so now let's get on to the video. Before I do that, there may be some strong language uh, used in this video, so advise caution. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm normally a really nice person, you know, like, get along with people. I try to answer um, many of my comments on YouTube, personal messages, but when someone leaves me bad comments, or when someone tries to screw me over money and not provide me with a service, that's when I really start to get pissed off at people. So, um, I guess we'll start off with how I met this punk. Well, if you guys already know from the Tarantula 1976 channel, he had gotten from him some really cool tees and adults. Like, I, I see him got like a pee fash out of adult female, potentially gravid. Uh, he got a green bottle blue from him, um, C. Crochet, he, I don't remember what exactly he got, he deleted the videos, so, um, for just practically nothing, and all he did was pay for shipping. In the Canadian hobby, you should know how tarantulas are really, really expensive here. Uh, like an example, like a Nandu Chromatis here, um, it's about $50 for about an inch and a half. And over on you guys is probably around um, maybe less, more than half the price there because there's not many tea dealers here and uh, their hobby is really kind of small. So hopefully one day I'm going to decide to do a lot of breeding projects. As you know, I already made it the tea blondie. Um, pretty soon I'm going to make the H. maculata. So uh, hopefully that's going to be good. I'm starting to get some males of the specimens I already have and try to start a breeding project uh, for myself and hopefully one day become a tea dealer myself. A kid dream. So, uh, what can I say? Yeah, so I thought that was really kind of strange that he would give teas like that. So, I said, okay, and that's fine. So I, I decided to talk to him on MSN and, um, and on YouTube. So we're talking about tarantulas. And you know, one time I actually personally called him. He seemed like a very nice person. And I think he's about 23. He kind of lied, saying that he owns like a mansion. He drives like a Ferrari and stuff. And I checked his house on on uh, Google Earth, and that's what it is. So I said, okay. So May 5th, 2009. That's when I started. Okay. Is it possible if I could buy some tarantulas off you? Because tarantulas here are just really bloody expensive. Like at the time, Pocotheria terino Vaselli, the West Tiger ornamental, was close to uh, around $350 for about an inch and a half. So I said, whoa. So I can remember exactly what I bought. So I ordered a Pocotheria ornata, the fringe ornamental, a two and a half inch sexed female uh, for Ludwig. Unfortunately, he died. Uh, because of, you know, got eaten by Trash Canada's female. Uh, I bought a Pocothera Tigrina Wiseli. I bought two, a mating pair, uh, two and a half inch male and two and a half inch female that I was going to raise. Uh, I was going to order a Pocothera Shyata, the Mysore ornamental, and I think that was it for Pokies. Then for, I was going to buy some Avix. I really wanted a Vicularia purpurea, the, um, Ecuadorian purple pinto. So I said, okay, why not? Uh, let's see what else. An adult female Vicularia Metallica, the metallic white toe. I'm going to get a replacement very soon from Tarantula Canada. I think that I'm supposed to expect the package on Tuesday. So that's it. And uh, he was offering me as a freebie because uh, he made it um, some teas. He was going to get uh, a. Sp Evicularia species Peru purple, and I had a choice between a P Metallica or a P Ultra Marinus. So I thought, okay, fine. And then I ordered also uh, some Nandu Colorado Velosis because 
the one I bought from Tranche to Canada died, so I ordered uh, maybe two or three of them. Then I decided since I got Mina, I wanted to replace that order with uh, some Nandu Chromatis. So, keep in mind, that was in May 2009. But one big problem though, he didn't have a license to ship to Canada, so I said, okay, uh, can you get one? He says, yeah, yeah, I said, I can get one, uh, I just need the order right away. So, very stupid of me, I sent the money right away. And it was about $300, and, uh, $300 total that I spent on those uh, couple teas. So, okay, so it's going to take a month, I said, Okay, I can wait a month, uh, because I know uh, the PayPal extends in 45 days, so we waited until uh, July, and I asked, I started sending him some uh, emails, and on him I sent him, like, when are you going to ship the teas, when are, you, when are you planning to get them, get the license, get the registrations, the papers, and he goes, makes an excuse saying, oh, um, the problem is that someone screwed over with the applications and someone really screwed up with the toxicity report, so I'm going to have to call them again and see what's up. So I look at, alright, fine. So then in August, um, I purchased, you know, uh, Kayla, that was my Vicalaria Fascalata. Now, a Vicalaria Diversity Peeps had passed away. And Alex is where is, was very kind enough to offer me a replacement so I said okay sure why not because I asked him how much I paid for it I paid about a half an inch for hundred and twenty dollars he says ah if we get here an inch and a half for sixty five bucks I said whoa okay so he's offered to replace that one for free for me so I thought he was a really nice guy in doing that <laughs> and I got really screwed because when I looked at Arachnid boards in uh, late August because he was supposed to ship it in September confirmed date and he says, oh, he never ships teas, he never reaches them, uh, I can't reach him by email. And I says, okay, so then I said, I wrote a review, so I'm like, uh, this is ridiculous, Alex Awady, I paid $300 worth of teas for me, he never got them, I never got them, uh, and uh, what am I supposed to do? So like, I tried calling him, he, he's just the worst person to do this. So then he replied to me on Arachnid Boards on a personal message saying, oh, I'm sorry I've been able to get a hold of you, um, I'll give you my personal phone number and um, call me there and we'll sort it. So I thought fine, so uh, Rob C had a green bottle blue for sale, uh, if you haven't already seen his video on that, so I decided to buy it because I had a immature male and I wanted a little juvenile female so I could work with, so unfortunately I never got it. So many weeks passed, so September 3rd came, he was supposed to ship the teas, uh, it was Labor Day weekend, he said he couldn't ship them because the banks and the shipping offices were closed, so okay, fine. So I wanted, he said I'll ship them out September 10th, never came, he says oh uh, the bank's closed, I don't have money in the bank, so I said okay, now this is starting to get really ridiculous. Um, so what else I could say about him? Um, and I started calling him up uh, once every three or four days, asking him when is it coming. And then he actually lied to my mother and father and brother, saying that he promises to ship the teas. He's, he wanted to, like, uh, how do you, how would you say this? He wanted to smuggle the teas to Canada. So he says, "Oh, wait till Wednesday. I have a friend that can actually." bypass all those papers and uh, you can get them like one in two days. It's like, yeah, right. You know, like the customs, the Canadian and U.S. Customs borders are really stingy and they're probably not going to let a few spiders pass. That's why a lot of people are asking me if I ship down to the state. This is why I can because I need, you need a fish and wildlife permit. You need to pay import fees, shipping fees, and uh, obviously that, those are going to cost way more than the tarantula itself, so that's probably why I don't ship down to the U.S. So Then he came up with a new deal. He said, okay, so let me refund you half the tarantula purchase, and then when you get the teas, 
you said the other half. Okay, so I thought, you know, that's a more reasonable offer. So, unfortunately, it's now June 6, 2010. Do I have keys from him? No. And would I would have would have put a video if I received them? Yes. Where the hell are they, Alex? And then I saw Baker Tees, uh, one of my friends. Uh, I just bought a really large order from Alex Oweity. He, he, he bought 22 tees from them. And Alex sent them right away. And uh, what am I, chopped liver? Why, why haven't I got them? You know, if I was a client or a customer, I would have made sure one person is happy, then you go to the next client. You don't, you don't take on new clients unless you please the other one. So, obviously, he didn't care a shit for me, or obviously for other people. And, uh, yeah, he's a lying ripoff, and he's a lying son of a bitch, too. Like, uh, I could say Daniel, Dan's Ball Python, uh, he ripped off uh, him from the Abapolosum slings. Uh, he'll just take your money and just run off. It, it just, I don't know how... Alex, I don't know how you can sleep at night ripping off so many people. You know, I'm a student. I'm paying for my school. School for here, it's around $2,000 a year. And I have been... I just... I, I'm a lawn cutter, and I just can't make enough money to support myself. Well, I buy the tees, but you get what I mean. I just don't know how you can f fuck people over their money just ridiculous. So, guess when the last contact I had of Alex? June, no, December 8th of 2009. He call, I called him up on his cell phone. He says, oh, I'm working. Um, I'll call you right back. And ladies and gentlemen, it's now June 6th. This is the last time I actually spoke with him. And guess what happened? Also, Rob, if you're watching this video, uh, do you remember the green bottle blue that you that I bought from you? Boots? Well, guess what? He got sent out, but unfortunately, I did not get him. Louis Stogies has my tea. Alex, why the fuck did you send him my tarantula that I bought $95 to him? You know, it's a real, you're a real asshole to send, to not send me my teas. I, I think personally you send all my tarantulas to Baker Teas. Not saying that he actually got them, but what the hell? And I'm not going to see my P. striata, my P. ornata, my, my pair of T. T. Green with Sally. Oh, I also forgot. A three and a half inch female L. Volosiopes, I'm not going to get. A bunch of N. chromatis slings. Uh, a. diversity peeps, P. metallica. A. species brew purple. And A. purpurea. Not going to happen. And then 50, Kaiden 1512 says, he called him up one time asking him, why haven't you shipped the teas? Well, apparently, you know what you, you know what he said to her? I blame everyone but your, myself. Alex, you shouldn't be in this business, and I hope you go down hard. So, that's my video. Everyone, stay away from Alex 080. Do never buy t any teas from him. He'll take your money. He'll run off with them. He'll never see your teas again. And I think also he had another channel uh, that he had. Um, I think. Let me check. Let me check. And there we go. I found it. Turtle24569. So if you see a dealer under this name or Alex O80, he probably doesn't use Alex O80 anymore. I got one word from you. I said, you guys, avoid him like the plague. So, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy this video. And you can see why I'm completely angered by him. $400 of teas. I'll never see the money, nor will I ever see my teas again. Thanks for watching.